I find myself trapped in an incredibly distressing and tumultuous situation that seems to have no end. It revolves around an individual, a woman or rather a lady from hell, who has wreaked havoc upon my roommate's life, pushing him to the brink of madness. This person's actions have been nothing short of terrifying, engaging in excessive drinking, a rampage of destruction, and constantly issuing threats that hang like a dark cloud over our daily lives. Despite my roommate's attempts to distance himself, she persists, bombarding him with incessant text messages that serve as a constant reminder of her malevolence. I, fortunately, had the foresight to block her messages, shielding myself from her toxic influence. But there is more to this nightmare. It seems that her sinister intentions extend beyond emotional torment. I have a deep-seated suspicion that she may have tampered with the very foundation of our sanctuary, the house itself. Although I lack concrete evidence to support this claim, there have been unsettling signs and unexplained incidents that point to possible poisoning. The air hangs heavy with an undercurrent of danger, making us question our own safety within the confines of our home. Adding to the surrealism of it all, I recently spotted a silver car parked discreetly in our driveway, a haunting reminder that we are under constant surveillance. My curiosity compelled me to step outside and confront the mysterious intruder. However, as soon as they caught sight of me, the car abruptly sped away, leaving behind an eerie silence that unsettled me to my core. In a state of heightened anxiety, I rushed back indoors, slamming the door behind me as if to ward off the looming threat. It was in that moment that I awakened my roommate from his alcohol-induced stupor. Disoriented and disheveled, he reached for his phone and dialed the number for emergency assistance. The police arrived promptly, their presence a temporary respite from the chaos that has consumed our lives. They reassured us, explaining that the troublesome individual should not have been able to breach our property without providing a mandatory 24-hour notice. Concerned for our safety, they advised us to change the locks, a precautionary measure to fortify our defense against her relentless pursuit of control. As if the nightmare couldn't get any worse, the following day brought with it an unexpected visit from the sheriff. Their purpose was to serve my roommate with an unsettling notice, informing him that he has a mere 30 days to vacate the premises. The weight of this realization hit him hard, triggering a severe nervous breakdown that shattered the remnants of his already fragile state. To my shock and dismay, I discovered that the troublesome individual had found pleasure in locking people away in the basement. I stumbled upon a small, inconspicuous latch affixed to the basement door, an insidious contraption designed to trap unsuspecting souls within, with no means of escape. The gravity of our predicament weighs heavily upon us. It is imperative that we take swift action to rectify this situation, to reclaim our peace of mind and restore a sense of normalcy. The road ahead is treacherous, but we must persevere.